RMC. Happy holidays from all of us here on Pico Boulevard. Let's do it like this Jackson action for you. Say a little prayer for Christmas. Super nice, super nice. Jackson action for you. Blessings to you on this wonderful Lord's Day. It's exciting. It's exciting. In spite of what's going on, just know the Lord is kind. Say a little prayer for Christmas. Always remember, while you're sitting around enjoying plenty, there's someone somewhere that won't have any. Here's a surefire tune to make you want to croon. Sherry, be a day at noon. Let's do it like this for Y-O-U. Kevin, what happened, Kevin? Kevin, 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 I need you, Kevin, Kevin, I don't know what's going on. Oh my God. And I'm going to find out exactly what's going on here. So many things are happening here at RMC, it's unbelievable. I'm going to give a training class. Yeah, no doubt about this here. Right here. Yeah, right here. Kevin. You got that on. Uh-oh, Kevin, Kevin. Mm. Let's see. Here we go. All right, Sherry. Here we go, Sherry. Got it for you now. Kevin. Let's do it like this, Mr. Hudson, for you and Diane. Joy to the world.
super nice. Let's get into it. Mississippi style right here. Here's Melvin. Trying to for you in the East West team. Little drummer boy. Happy holidays from all of us at RMC. Gifts we bring to lay before the king.
Wishing you and yours the best of the holiday season from all of us here at Roscoe's. RMC, and of course, me, Prayers Beat, Kevin, Crystal, and Johnny. All of us right here, we want to say to you, have the greatest holiday season. Whatever you do, be safe, alert, and always look forward. Betty, got some love coming for you for Tennessee. Sharon, for you in South Bend. Georgia, for down in Little Rock, Arkansas area. Hey, Stephanie, the Windy City didn't leave you out. Here's a surefire tune to make you want to croon. Be it morning, night, or noon. Let's do it like this. Super nice. Franz Graham on your air. Wishing you and yours the best of the holiday season. Whatever you do, America, 
stay away from the social media life. Entertain only the best between Genesis and Revelation. Here's a late great one. Here's Ray Charles. Happy holidays. For being with the ones we love. Sharing so much joy and cheer. What a wonderful feeling. Watching the ones we love. Having so much fun I was sitting by the fireside Taking a walk through the snow Listening to a children's choir Singing songs of my dreams the blessed way that he came to walk us Why can't it remain? Oh, through the year Each day the same ah, That's what I That spirit of Christmas Super nice. 
yeah, the genius, the late, great Ray Charles right here on Prayers Graham. Join me Sunday morning. Yeah, St. Louis, you get ready. We're on our way there in about a few weeks. So you stay tuned. We'll tell you about it on Prayers Graham Sunday morning, no doubt about it. I'm just loving it. It's a great weekend this weekend. The Cavaliers tribute is Sunday. It's going to be nice. Hey, the legendary great Kenneth Glover. It's going to be nice. I've got some Kenneth Glover's Christmas music and somewhere around here. Let me see if I can find it for you right now. Yeah, super nice. Here's the great. Super nice. On the station that gives you great gospel music. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. What would happen if a generation embraced this? Come on, tell me. Here I am. Here I am, here I stand, Lord, my life is in your hands, Lord, I know you to see your desires The number one artist in the world. Super nice. Here's Lee Williams of the Spiritual QCs on the way, June the 12th, 2016. Stay tuned. We'll tell you all about it. Yes, he is. He is my own. My own. Yes, he He's my own, my own and all. 
Super nice. The number one artist in the world, Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs in Tupelo, Mississippi. Here's one of the favorites, June the 12th, 2016, Carson Community Center. Here's the groove from Lee Williams. Have your way. Anyway, I will. I got another thing 
the number one artist in the world, Lee Williams of the Spiritual QCs from Tupelo, Mississippi. Our guest, Carson Community Center. It's going to be nice. June the 12th, 2016, 5 p.m. You'll want to be there. It's a Prez Graham presentation. You'll want to be there. The number one artist in the world. Prayers Graham presents the Summer Super Gospel Family Fest, June the 12th, 5 p.m., Carson Community Center. The number one artist in the world, Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs from Tupelo, Mississippi. Our guests, our guests, no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Super nice. You'll want to be there. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. We'll give you further information as that date nears. June the 12th, 2016, Carson Community Center, Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. Got a very special guest in the studio today. Super nice. A brother that's about business. Handling business all over the country, all over the world, right here in Southern California. Doing a lot with our youth. Mr. Joe Ellis is our guest. Joe, blessings to you, brother. How are you? Oh, I'm happy to be here. How are you doing? Any day above ground is a great day, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Joe Ellis is a great brother. Automotive. Uh, giving youngsters a chance, man. On Prezgram, share with the people who Joe Ellis is, man. Uh, Joe Ellis is a part of a nonprofit organization called Fathers and Mothers Who Care. We operate in uh, South Central LA, working with uh, at risk children, foster care kids, uh, veterans, and uh, people who need the help. Fed about 200 people on Thanksgiving Day, mm. right there on the, uh, right on the corner of 109th and Vermont here in LA today. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, Joe, listen, tell us about the automotive business. Let's start with that first, that you give youngsters a chance. How does that work? Well, I'm one of the top builders, African-American in the world. I'm an international car builder, and I'm always putting my hands on cars. So I thought I would uh, come into the community and adopt a few at-risk kids and teach them how to build $100,000 cars with me. Really? Yeah, what, whatever inspired you and motivated you to do this, man? Someone did it for me. Really? Yeah. And now the rest is history. They pay it forward. How does this work? The kids, are they receptive to wanting to build cars or get uh, into automotive? Yeah, you know, um, the one, one thing about the cars that I build, they, they speak to people 7 years old to 77 years old. No kidding. Uh, it crosses racial barriers and uh, social economical areas. And I, uh, through the digital divide, I bring people together. That's it. You're doing a project. You got your hands on a project from the old man, Mr. Hudson, here at Roscoe's. And the name of the game is uh, <laughs> making it look like it's a piece of jewelry, as he always says. <laughs> well, Perez, you had your hands on it yourself. It is an amazing Cadillac. Yeah, uh, it is. It is. Um, uh, Mr. Hudson's, Mr. Hudson has given a lot to the community. That he it's has. It's time that we get back to him. So well. I told him how he can have my hands. They're kind of. Hard to give away, but he can have them if he allow a few kids to touch it, too. No kidding. Got to give something to get something, you know? That's true. And then, you know, after 40 years of chicken and waffles, and now it led us to RMC right here. And, of course, Prez Graham after 40 years of being the voice of Roscoe's. And then to meet Joe Ellis, you understand? I mean, when you put your hands on a car, it's like a canvas. Am I correct? And yeah. when it goes out, you can say that's a Joe Ellis product? Most of the cars that I'm a part of, if I'm not on that team, they once never was. Okay. You know, so I'm like a part of the best of the best. And, you know, my dad used to tell me it's a pole dog who won't wag his own tail. That's so true. I have to tell you, a lot of African Americans, when we are on this level, we don't talk about it. Mm. We're ashamed of it. We're really? not ashamed of anything. But when you see the Latin kids and the African American kids come together here in my shop or at... Washington High School or Compton High School or Marcus Garvey uh, Academy here within L.A., you can see them blend together and they work together and I can end a lot of the um, hatred and anger that flows through the blood of all the, uh, most of these kids here in the community. Really? So, yeah, I love it. Now, is it arduous to bring African Americans and uh, Latinos together when it comes to uh, this kind of project? Because you know there's a lot of myths out there that African Americans and Latinos can't get together. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, 
I'm the proof that it that doesn't exist. There was a day uh, where we both know a person named Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. He had a dream of one day that we would be judged by the content of our character and not our color. Mm -hmm. When is the last time you heard of an African American that flew to Mexico, built a car with a team of people from Mexico to compete for the most beautiful car in the world and win? And bring it to Las Vegas. Really? So when a lot of Latin kids see me on TV or they see me in their classrooms, they know who I am. I just don't do that at home. I really? told you, Prez, you're one of the fortunate ones that have me on the <laughs> camera. I hide from cameras. <laughs> I do too, believe it or not. Yeah. You understand? For 40 years. But now the Lord has blessed us. Uh, and then as I'm, you know... In my old age now, uh, I think it's even better because mm -hmm. my children, they're out there. My son is a recording artist, and in the bottom line, and my daughter, she's taking on the MC role now. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to fade back and let them handle it. Mm -hmm. You know, my son is already out there, and Nikki, my daughter, bringing her into the light as an MC, mm -hmm. which I want to do anyway. And she's doing a remarkable job. And then to see somebody like Joellis, they can just make things happen. You understand? And Roscoe's make things happen. You may not realize it, but in the, in the grassroots and the you know, when you plant a seed, it has to germinate before the flower comes up. Mm -hmm. In the early germination of what I do every day, Roscoe's was involved. But it was mm. involved through a person named Tina Michelle. I haven't mm. seen her here. We came, uh, we did a social media and, uh, uh, week down at Compton. Mm -hmm. And we decided that bring automotive, bring Roscoe's, bring some peace to the streets. Okay. Here's a couple of years later, look at what's going on now. I'm probably one of the highest ranking African Americans in a custom car world. So wow. to not only to compete with a team twice, they even made me the first African American judge for the high honor also. No kidding. So if we bring it all together, with, I mean, I never had anticipated being on Roscoe Station today. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hudson and I are quite private with his private car you know? exactly but exactly he if he needs to fix he came to the right guy but really I, you can't buy me really i'm not able to be bought you know really if i work on a high-end car i will do it for free if i can bring middle school kids or high schoolers people who have lost their ways okay you know a lot of people don't realize this press but 70 percent of say the middle schools here in town even at washington high school is foster care kids no kidding. So what happens to them when they turn 18 and they don't go to college? We don't talk about that. They don't have any careers. They don't have a mother or father or uncle. Tell them, you know, it's always that uncle that look at you and say, hey, look, you better do something with your life. Well, what do we, what do, we do or what programs or what nonprofits are there to be there for those kids? How do they get their education? How do, who's the portal? Mm. And, uh, at, um, a lot of people don't realize it, but at Trade Tech, they have a special unit that's just for foster care kids, helping with the grants and everything, but they don't know. you got um, Maxine Waters Center. Mm -hmm. She's open for the area, you know, over there. She is able to give you an education in an automotive career. I'm just a small slice of 10% of 10 people that is out here in the world today helping out in the community. You've done a remarkable job. No ifs, ands, and buts about mm -hmm. it. And uh, our hats off to you at RMC, and I speak for Mr. Hudson and for all of the great family members here. And, of course, I'm just waiting because I've got a project that I need to throw out there <laughs> and, and get this back on the road again. At the same token, how can people that's watching you now know someone, know youngsters that's talented uh, automotively-wise but can't get that break? How can they find you? You know, when I bring... African Americans and Latins mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm. When the classes start, they look like this. I don't know if you can see my hands, but they look. They like can this. see your hands, buddy. They look on the screen up there. They oh, can see your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I would say after the second week, mm -hmm. it starts like a gear, and by the end of the ninety-day period, they're all together. Some of these kids that I've worked with, you will not ever imagine that they were ever enemies. Really? Yeah. I teach uh, the Brothers Keepers uh, motto and also paying it forward and teamwork. There's no one person better than the other, and I believe girls can do everything that we can do, but better. So okay. So it's open. If you want to find us or find me, remember what I said, what if. So it'll be whatifunited.org. Go there on Facebook. Go there to um, um, 
the dot, dot com or the dot org or fathers and mothers who care. Our other acronyms are FMWC. That's fathers and mothers who care. That's the parent uh, nonprofit, and I operate under fathers and mothers who care. We wow. cover all of LA. Wherever there's a problem, I'm coming. Really? Yes, sir. Our guest today on Prayers Graham Worldwide here is Mr. Joe Ellis, entrepreneur, business uh, expertise uh, teacher, uh, inspirational motivator, uh, making you do what you need to do when you need to do it. And I'm just glad that our pathways have crossed. And Joe, listen, now, is there any certain vehicle that you will not work on? Uh, no. I work really? on planes, cars, and yachts. Really? Yeah. Is it difficult to work on a on a aero um, space per, uh, craft aircraft? You know, I'm a violinist. By if we want to go back, I'm a part of the early uh, uh, Panther program with the uh, what do they call it? Uh, Head Start. Mm-hmm. So I had a violin in my hand in a very early age. When you no became kidding. a senior in high school, they had a work study program. I got a, uh, I call it inducted or abducted by Garrett Aircraft. So early on at 18 years old, I was working on planes and parts for airplanes and bombers and bomb bay doors from 18 years old to like 25 years old. When I look at a schematic, it's probably how you look at music notes. Okay. I breathe it. So hmm. the jury is out. Was it the actual violin that I played or the exposure to the music. I believe it was the exposure to the music. So at any given time, I'll grab 20 to 45 kids at my own expense and put them in a van and take them to JPL Laboratory, take them to Santa Monica Air Museum, or take them wherever. It's something with a, a career because a lot of the kids in the community, they have never been more than five miles out of their community. Right, so true. So take them over to Capstone Technologies or JPL Laboratories. For you, if you're into space, you get it. If you don't, if you're not in the space, we don't know what it is as African Americans. So imagine what it was like to grab 50 kids and take them to a company that builds a generator that doesn't need any oil, burns on any fuel, and tell them to go get a job there or be an intern there. They never knew before. So my job and my nonprofit is not actually here to come get your money to go buy them a backpack. I'm going to change them and make them work together. And mm. you can tell the difference in the communities when, you know, because hatred, hatred is real bad. You know, the devil works in that. But love is God and it spreads throughout the world. So if you take one child and give them love, He's going to go back and tell 10 kids. And then those 10 kids going to tell 10 kids. And, you know, it actually happens. really grows. Yeah, we have to. We have to take time. We can listen to music and dance all day long, but at the end of the day, I'm on the front line with these hands, man. And it's not pretty out there, but there's hope and love in the, in the society because I've actually witnessed it in five years, the changes in communities just from my presence there. And I come as a team. It mm. must be at least, uh, it's probably about 10 of us. Really? See, here's the biggest problem. People have a nonprofit or they work every day and they give 100% of their time. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't believe they should. A great friend of mine that passed away a few years ago said give 10%. Okay. We can all do 10%, right? Right. What if you get 10 people and they do 10%? Isn't that 100%? All the way around. Okay, and you still not burn out, worn out. You can do your work more efficiently if you spend less time then you're more you spend more um energy towards the cause that you're you're on but I, I i love it it's uh i have a spinal situation where i'm in pain every day and when i see these kids it's a shame i mean i have pictures here i have a actually I have a youtube you can look at it if you want to it's not that much tell us treatment. tell us how to find it then um i have to load it up but it's uh called a fmwc uh, mm -hmm. um washington high school Oh, okay. I, I can get you the link. Maybe you'll maybe play this, maybe one or two minutes. Um, we have to take the time and look at that child in your neighborhood that doesn't have a dad or have a dad that's not there or an abusive mother or, or even a church-going child and put your hand on their shoulder and tell them everything's going to be okay. God loves you, and I love you too, son. Wow. You have to spend time with them. If you don't, 
look at what's going on in the news now in Syria. Well, in San Bernardino, as far as that's concerned. Well, it, it's hatred yeah, exactly. all over the world. I mean, yeah. it doesn't matter if you're Catholic, Christian, Buddhist, even atheists are fighting. <laughs> that's so true. But love is universal. Dude, when I fly to Mexico City, I've been there about 15 times. When I fly there get mm-hmm. off the plane, I am received so well in that country with the unity build of building that Ferrari powered 1932 Lincoln. They had a car there. A 1932 Lincoln. It's owned by a hot sauce company called La Costeña. I think I pronounced it right. We use it like Red Rooster here. Okay. It's sold all over the world. He wanted a rare car, so he bought a 1939 Lincoln Zephyr. And here in California, we'll put a Chevy or a Ford motor in there. This guy wanted to put a Ferrari motor in the car. So when you go on the Internet and you say wiring custom cars Ferrari, that list drops from 3,000 to probably three, and I'm one of the three. Wow, so they hired missions. me to go over there to build this car with them. And while I was there, the same things I do here with kids. I'll go over there like the Pied Piper and probably be 30, 40 kids over there. Now, they speak both languages. Mm-hmm. I only speak English, but I'm getting better. <laughs> I can understand Spanish more than I can speak it. But when you're there, and just as you said, that in this country, you find that it's this old saying that, African Americans and Latins don't get along. Well, I got I got adopted grandkids that are Salvadoran, so mm. you know I'm against the wow. grain. My family's like a, a UN UN meeting anyway. But but <laughs> I'll tell you all, if you ever put the two in the room together and find a common ground a ground like a car mm-hmm. and have them work together, you couldn't tear them boys apart if you wanted to. No kidding. Oh, yeah. That, so what if? So that's why my nonprofit is called What If United. Unite races with other races. I build cars with a multitude of cultural beings. And the cars, the only difference is that my cars are worth, they're not my cars. Someone will come to me and say, I want to go for the highest honor in America. That car may be, shoot, worth $250,000. No kidding. Take a two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar car to Crenshaw High School. You can't do that. You can't build it there. So if I'm already building a car. I'll just go grab twenty kids and bring them with me to build that car. Work out a special deal with the owner, and either don't charge them or cut the rate, and bring the kids there and document it. And I did this over a five year period. Forty three cars, three airplanes, four motorcycles, and now a one point five million dollar home. Can you believe mm. a smart home? So the Lord blesses me, and I pay it forward, and just keep paying it forward because someone took the time for me. But thank you, uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle, for taking care of my my community. You guys have people out on the front line too. Like I remember a time when I first met uh, uh, Tina, she carried this Roscoe chicken and waffle t-shirt on. <laughs> and she was in front of a bunch of lowriders up there in, in Magic Johnson's Park, and there was a lot of shootings, and Herb really cares about his community. He's not here like most people here, rob and take all the riches out of the community. So true. And, and you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm here to be able to give back, you know, and help him out a little bit because he helps everybody else. I don't need his help. I need his car to be able to inspire kids. You know, everybody nowadays, mm-hmm. they got a Honda or a Hyundai or Toyota. There's not too many 50s. Cadillacs, and the the problem is that we have shut down all these mom and pop shops where the WalMarts have taken over the Sears, and you used to be able to go to like J and L machine shop to get your car fixed. Mm-hmm. They don't exist anymore. That's true. Very so true. that trade is in me, and I believe that I'm a spiritual descendant of the late C.R. Patterson that is the first and only African American car company in history. Uh, That came out before Henry Ford. A black man built a car before Henry Ford that was Mm. more efficient than Henry Ford. Traveled faster than Henry Ford's car because he took a car and took a continental pump motor and put it in a car and Henry Ford in history is known as the most, the first economical car mass produced not the first car and this black gentleman C.R. Patterson 
did not build the first car a German company, or a German family did. But here in the U.S., oh yeah, and you never heard about them. So I feel like if I did my work real good, saved a few souls, mm -hmm. you won't even know who I am until prayers go to get some soul food and run into me and now you done exploited me. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah. Between Genesis and Revelation, there's a book called Hebrews 13 and 1 that says, Let brotherly love continue, but it's the A clause of the second verse of the same said chapter. Be careful how you entertain strangers. Some have entertained angels unaware. Hmm. So therefore, it was a divine purpose in us establishing communication the day that we did, where we did, and mm -hmm. how we did it. Mm -hmm. And little did it know the nice, uh, gorgeous uh, lady that was in front of us, uh, and then you were behind us, mm -hmm. and at the same token, uh, as we went out, and then we established this communication, said, wow, the name Roscoe's has been around for 40 years. And, and then as she was saying, that back in the day in New York, uh, in our old days, it was called Wells, and of course in New York. And then when the old man came here, Mr. Willis E. Robinson, uh, who's now deceased, uh, bless his heart and his soul and his spirit, they kept the doors ajar and then made us uh, a part of what was going on. And now 40 years later, where I used to go around the country to go different radio stations, etc and so forth. Now I can stay here and be seen all over in any station. If you got a station where it is in a state or a city, I don't have to go there now and fly anymore. Right here, we can send it over there to you and the rest is now history. Mm -hmm. God has a way of doing things uh, the way he wants to do it when he wants to do it. You understand? Our meeting was divinely orchestrated long before you and I ever thought about coming to this earth oh, yeah. or this world, you understand? I that. And I am so indebted that, you know, the name that we have in common is the old man and, of course, his operation called Roscoe's House of Chicken Waffles, which is uh, an East Coast uh, parent. And I'm just elated, brother. I'm just elated. You know, the only connection that I have with Roscoe's early on was that I was sought after out of Temecula, California, to come help with your program at Compton to link one of the lowest educational areas in the union and poverty, more in poverty, Compton, and link them up with Gary, Indiana. Mm. And we, get, we linked them up in this studio about two, three years ago. Tina Michelle. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying that when you see the kids and the mm -hmm. hopelessness and helplessness oh, yeah. in Chicago and Gary and all those areas, and those kids were able to see what our kids were doing here, and we took those kids out to the brick. Uh, uh, well, they went to uh, Indianapolis 500, the right. actual Indianapolis track. Speedway. They mm -hmm. went to the Speedway uh, right before the 500 race, and we took those kids and Gary and put them on a track, which our kids hadn't seen a track, and we brought them here to see what I do every day. Oh, man. So it was amazing. kind of a great unity. And these little stories go unspoken, but are the heart of Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. So true. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to, like you say, to look out for the old man, but <laughs> he does a whole lot more yeah. than serve and take pictures with the president. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean he's, a, he's, a, he's a great guy. I, I'll... Like I said, I told you earlier, my name is Joe Ellis. If you look at me on the Internet, you type in Joe Ellis, black man, you probably won't find me. You type in what if you will. But if you type in the letter I-C-W-I-R-E-S, that should say I-C wires, and just hit enter in Google. It will amaze you, me in multiple countries and filling up the pages of all the different things that I've done. So... I believe that I'm one of the holy warriors that's out here to be able to protect and be the voice of the voiceless out here. So you paid me to come here and tell you about you. Mm. Thank you, Roscoe, for having me here. Oh, me. brother, yeah. brother. The old man's going to scream when he hear that. Uh, no, now, no, no, listen, no. I can tell yeah. you now, I've yeah. I've known him all, all of his um, mm. adult life and like, long before he became an adult life, life, mm. life, life. And one thing I can say about him that is he is he's, he's like me. He's low keyed, mm -hmm. and the bottom line is I don't want to be known for anything else mm -hmm. except for being a servant. Mm -hmm. That's it. How I sound on radio and TV, I could give a rat's about oh, that. Oh yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. The name, how I dress, I could give a rat's about that. The name of the game, what have someone benefited? You understand? Mm -hmm. When I go into a convalescent home, as I do religiously, 
and a nurse or two or uh, whatever, a doctor, orderly, whatever the case is. So we have prayers, black men here. Bottom line is, that's the pathway to someone that can't get to church. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they want to say, hey, listen, can I shake your hand? It's because you're the only church I can get. I got children, grandchildren, won't come and see me. That's the reward that I get. That's the benefit. It's like at Christmas time, I don't accept gifts at Christmas time. Bless the ministry. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about because the name of me, you need a tax write off. You understand? Jesus allowed me in August to have a birthday. So, therefore, that's my birthday mm-hmm. that he gave me. So, at Christmas time, I want to be a blessing to Jesus. And you'll be a blessing is by helping and by doing and everything else. That's why I'm saying that you and I, it was divinely orchestrated for us to meet, man. Because there's so many youngsters watching us around the country right now. And there are those that are watching us. uh, I don't know why somebody's calling me now and they know I'm on the air. The name of the game is that, hey, having Joe Ellis here. Joe, I'm grateful, man. I want you to think about some before, before you go to break. The most wonderful thing that ever happened to me is that I've never once requested Roscoe's to help me in my path. Mm. I never I never even solicited my services. Mr. 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 Herb can call anybody in the world. So true. Anybody. He called this phone. Said he had a Lincoln that the top wouldn't go down. I went over there and seen that car. It was beautiful. But even at that particular time, I never even mentioned to him that who I was and what I do with kids. No kidding. So <clears throat> you got to think of the countless letters that you guys get every day about, can you help me here, help me there. The truest, the truest, truest gladiators, when they're working, they just do what they do. That's it. You know? That's so true. So maybe if uh, you and I, we can be examples of what it's like to be on the front line. Maybe I can bring you out. I tell you, I would love to have you out on the front line and watch these kids work together. Uh, Feel the energy within that home. I don't judge. I don't care if you're rich. I don't care if you live in a box. You're welcome in my home. And every one of my classes, they get a hot meal. My Mm. my meals are uh, are, uh, sponsored by 180. 180... um, 180 uh, Fills, it's a company called 180. They feed about 5,000 people a day. Wow. It's a nonprofit to feed. And she, whenever I have a class, they're going to get a hot meal. Some kids, I think, came for the meal, but the majority of them come for a car. <laughs> Here, my next project for 2016, it's going to be two. One, I'm going to compete for a high honor with about 25 kids here. Mm. Five from different cities will work on it. And we're going to go compete. The second is that I hope to be able to take some foster care kids and build a car mm-hmm. and auction it off to donate oh, wow. it to really? the foster care kid program. Only two programs next year. So um, thank you for having me. You got me nervous here. <laughs> Joe Ellis, our guest right here on Prayers, Graham, as we get back into more music here. Here's a surefire tune. Happy holidays from all of us here. Super nice. Happy holidays from RMC and me. Well, here it is again. It's Christmas time. And I tell you, I just love this time of the year. Yeah. Merry Christmas. I'm so glad that once again, Christmas time is here. So I can see my loved ones I haven't seen since this time last year. Sharing peace and love On this day that the Savior was born Spreading joy all around And giving thanks to our Lord My favorite time of the year And my heart is filled with It's the time I hold so dear. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Extending love and goodwill to all mankind. What a joyous season. What a wonderful time. So love. 
let's enjoy this day with our family and friends. I'm already looking forward to when this time comes around again. Wishing you and yours the best of the holiday season. Super nice right here at RMC Studios. Hey, super nice on the station that gives you great gospel music. Just like this. Super nice. Getting ready. Getting ready. Getting ready. This Sunday. This Sunday at 5 p.m. New Temple Missionary Baptist Church. It's Legacy 2. The journey continues. A tribute to Cakes and the Cookies. The sweet, sweet singing. Cavaliers. Cousin in the studio. Cousin, what's going on, man? Oh, man, how you doing today, man? We just giving honor to God to be in the house once again with you, man. Highly favored and highly blessed. It's just truly, man, it's awesome. And uh, like you said, the Legacy 2 Journey Continues concert is on the way. And we are ready. Are you ready for this Sunday? Oh, man, we're more than ready. I wish it was this eat. <laughs> Is that right? That part right there. So I can <laughs> give it to you real well. Yeah? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, uh, we just very really thankful to come together and, and to have God to allow us to, to, to put this together. And uh, we're very proud to be able to present it to a lot of Cavaliers, uh, friends and loved ones over the years that have followed them. You know what I'm saying? We're the younger generation, but uh, it don't stop. Mm. I'm honored that it's about to happen, and I'm about to be a part of Good Lord. The latest coming and says the same. I'm honored, man. Thank you all for watching out for the old man. Thank you, because we wouldn't have it no way. I mean, no other way, because the voice itself says a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because down through the years, you have been a part uh, of the quartet circuit, period. You know what I'm saying? Everyone knows you. You're very well respected, and uh, it's only right for you to be the man of the hour to bring us in. Is that right? Oh, yeah, most definitely, cousin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We might slide you in on something Sunday evening. Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. You know how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> we love to share. But once again, you know, uh, we want to invite all our friends and loved ones out uh, for this joyous praise service. You know, we give honor to God. It's not about us. It's about where God has brought us from and what he's doing for us today in our lives. So... To all of you, do meet us over at 8734 South Broadway, New Temple Baptist Church. The Lord's willing and come out and worship with us. And let's have a good time serving the Lord. Now, there's raffle prizes. How do they get the raffle prizes? Well, Brother Prez, uh at a certain point in time in the service, you will be t- partaking of handling that uh, the ticket that they purchase at the door mm-hmm. will have a secondary ticket which will go in the bag at that point in time. Okay. So when the raffle does come about, uh, your raffle ticket will be inside that bag, as you know, and we will have someone of your choice and your picking to come down and join you down front. Like Tannis, for instance. Well, uh, if she would like to participate, that's up to her. Or Marilyn. <laughs> All in the family, brother. That's all so in true. the family. Yeah, that's all in the family. So it, it, it's, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, I'm glad to be able to give uh, give a little something, you know what I'm saying? It's not that we're trying 
to buy no one, you know what I'm saying, just showing our appreciation, you know what I'm saying, and uh, the lucky ticket winner will leave out with either a $25 envelope, $50 envelope, or a $75 envelope. I'm going to buy me a whole bunch of tickets then. Please That's what believe I'm it. talking about. You can get a roll now. <laughs> Here's one of the tunes going to be singing on Sunday afternoon. Legacy 2, Johnny Grayson, it's sweet, sweet singing, Cavaliers. Super nice. Johnny Grayson, Sweet Singing Cavaliers. It's going to be nice on Sunday. You're going to want to be there. It's going to be the concert. You dare not want to miss, no doubt about it. Here's another tune. It's going to be singing on Sunday. Super nice. And I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Cousin. Now, are you, you going to be playing and singing, too? Playing and singing. No yes. kidding. And uh, there's a song that uh, the Lord actually blessed me to write during my recovery process, as you know. And uh, I'm going to be sharing a little bit of that song with the Sweet Singing Cavaliers on Sunday. Really? Lord's willing, yes. If I fall, let me down easy. Really? Yes, sir. We've all <laughs> fallen, as you know, in life. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And uh, the Lord has enabled us to get back up. But uh, through falling, you learn. It's a learning process. And for me, you know what I'm saying, I'm just so grateful and humble today that God has allowed me a second chance to do His will. Uh, a lot of people that know me. Uh, not really used to seeing me talk in this form in this light, but today, you know what I'm saying, I want everybody to know that I love the Lord and I love Him with my whole heart. You know what I'm saying? Because without Him, I would be here today. That's a blessing. Yes, it is. Michael Anderson and Little Army, Reverend Marquise Williams, the Terry Boys, $10 for adults, children $5, ages 5 to 12. Raffle $25.50 and $75. Call Ronald Cousin Morgs right now. 323-944-7580. Michael Holmes, 626-422-0841. Doris Hemphill, 323-778-7582. Daryl Mitchell, 323-535-8695. The MC is me, Prayers B, at the New Temple Missionary Baptist Church, 8734 South Broadway in Los Angeles. It's Legacy 2, The Journey continue the tribute memorial style honoring these fellows the sweet sweet singing cavalier sunday december 13th 2015 5 p.m your face needs to be in the place Cousin. Yes, sir. This tune, you all going to perform that this Sunday? We'll be doing a number of tunes. That one, Peace in the Valley, uh, Morning Train. Uh, the rest we'll leave as a surprise. Uh, me, Pastor Hines, and Brother Michael Holmes, which is Hack's son, will be doing a rendition uh, 
featuring Haskell Holmes, which is his father, Tommy Beeson, and Andrew Williams. You know, they were very, very musically, vocally without music. So, so true. We're going to be doing an acapella number uh, honoring them entitled Deep River. Really? <laughs> Yes, it's going to yes, be the concert yes. you did not want to miss. I'm honored again to be the MC for Cakes and the Cookies. Sweet, sweet singing Cavaliers Memorial Tribute. You know, this takes me way over the 1,000. I've hosted over 1,000 concerts in my 40 years in broadcasting, and it's a blessing to be a part of you guys, man. It's really nice, brother, I'm telling you. Well, we thank you. You know what I'm saying? We appreciated you over the years, and you know your love. And uh, we just want everyone to come out and uh, enjoy the service and feel free to worship because uh, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about is giving thanks and praise to God. Uh, it's not about us. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're here to honor the memory and keep the memory alive and the legacy of the Sweet Singing Cavaliers. But today, it's about our relationship with God at the end of the day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because He blessed us with certain gifts and talents to do what we do, hmm. you know, and today I, I appreciate it a lot more when I was younger, you know what I'm saying, I was just out there, you know what I'm saying, but today, you know what I'm saying, it's about his will for me, you know, and uh, I want my light to shine where a lot of other young men and women may see that it's still suffering and going through that God can do anything. Hmm. I'm a living testimony to that. As a musician, as a singer, one of my favorite artists has always been Rogers Nelson. Uh, we know him as Prince, as one of the best guitar players in the world. Many have hailed you as the Prince of Gospel, as far as the guitar is concerned. How does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. God bless me. With this gift, but uh, being in the category with Brother Prince uh, is a nice category to be into because he is an awesome musician, um, you know, and uh, I've just been blessed. I don't know no other way to say it. You know, I do what I do, and uh, I love to perform. I love to uh, lace up with my guitar because it's my other half, you know, just like you say, uh, uh, when, a, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Well, when I put that guitar around my neck, you know what I'm saying, that's my good thing. You know? Is that right? And uh, uh, you can't go wrong. You know, it's a good feeling, you know what I'm saying, to minister through music for me, you know, because that's part of my life as a child and being the age that I am now. You know, I don't know nothing else you do, you know, and uh, I do what I do. <laughs> One of the tunes Sunday evening at 5 p.m. at New Temple Baptist Church, 8734 South Broadway in Los Angeles. It's Reverend Glasgow as the pastor. Here's one of the tunes they're going to be singing. Cousin, Trooper Nice. Salvation is free. That bar right there. We come to praise his name. Oh. Yo, sir. Oh, 
the concert this Sunday evening, 5 p.m. You'll want to be there at New Temple Baptist Church, 8734 South Broadway in Los Angeles. It's Legacy 2. The journey continues with Cousin and the fellas. Super nice. All these communications from RMC Studios. Brought to you by Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. Roscoe's, the place to feed your face for good, wholesome food served in a pleasant atmosphere. Now with seven locations to serve YOU. Watts Angeles, Manchester and Maine, Pequot and La Brea, Lake and Orange Grove in Pasadena, 730 Broadway in Long Beach with the Seabird Jazz Lounge, 1514 North Gower in Hollywood, the original location since 1975. Roscoe's LAX at the 405 Freeway, Roscoe's Disneyland, and soon to be Roscoe's number eight at Washington. Washington and La Brea. That's right, we're coming back this time on the west side of Washington and La Brea, right across from the P.O. Box, and you'll want to be there. It's going to be nice. Roscoe's. Don't forget about Pitbull, the energy drink in a can, the best thing in the land. Try some, you'll understand why it's in demand, and then you'll you have a can in your hand, all from Roscoe's, House of Chicken and Waffles. In our 40th year, super nice, and of course, we're just blessed to have cousin. I got Joe Ellis is still here, and you know Joe Ellis, man? Young man, just, yeah, yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe's a good brother. Joe, come right, come on this side, man. We're gonna wrap this day up here, and of course, we want uh, you and cousin to meet. Joe does a lot of things. Uh, he's an entrepreneur. He does things with kids and schools, mm-hmm. and he builds cars. He builds homes, airplanes, jets. He's gonna build me one. He's gonna build us one, <laughs> so we can get back across the country here. Hey, uh, Kevin, you, you got Joe uh, all hooked up here too. So, Joe, I want you and cousin to meet on the air. And, hey, man, you guys, you never know how pathways gonna cross Most in definitely. life. You know what I mean? And uh, both of you brothers are young brothers, and hey, the name of the game is who knows what the future may hold. You understand? Hebrews 13 and 1 again, let brotherly love continue. Mm-hmm. You understand? But it's the A clause of the second verse of the same said chapter. Be careful how you entertain strangers. That's why the 133rd numbers of the psalm, those 15 words in the first verse, behold, comma, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. How? In unity. That's the name of the game. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, Joe. Cousin, we're going to wrap this day up. It's been a fun field, hour and a half. So listen, man, give us some communication captions on Joe Ellis and uh, where they can find Joe Ellis and what he's doing, man. Uh, what if uh, united.org. Mm, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what if united.org. Um, I try to keep everything up there. Uh, I see wires. YouTube. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Joe, listen, man, I want you to come back, and if you can come back again, bring some of the youngsters that have worked with you, and let, let's motivate the other kids in the community so they can see this, you understand? And then, because once our show goes off the air, Kevin will make sure that we're up in the next hour and a half, and then you can sit back at home and have chicken and waffles, or whatever the case you do, and say, so look, I should have sounded like this. I should have looked like this, <laughs> because it's able to be seen around the world. That's the amazing thing about Roscoe's and RMC, and we're just in late it. For the old man, Mr. Hudson, and for all of us. Who's calling me? And they know I'm on the air. I can't believe this here, huh? Oh, wow. Somebody from Atlanta, Georgia is watching us right now. Blessings to you in Atlanta. We're on our way on the, I think it's it's May 2016. We'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. So, therefore, the name of the game is just hold on. I'll tell you all about it real soon coming up. It's going to be nice. Cousin, we're going to wrap this day up, cousin. So, that. Go ahead and tell us about Sunday, Legacy 2. Well, once again, we'd like everyone to come out to New Temple Baptist Church, 8734 South Broadway. Meet us there at 5 p.m. Come looking for a blessing. Come out to have a good time and pray to the Lord. Once again, $10 donation at the door. We look forward to seeing you. We love each and every one of you. I love it, man. Huh? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Deep River here on the station here. Okay, I'm on the air, Atlanta, so therefore just hang on. Give me five minutes, and I'll be able to talk to everybody in Atlanta, Georgia. I love you, Atlanta. I love you, South Bend. I love everybody. The word gets out real quick like that. We're coming to Atlanta, and it's going to be nice, a blessing, you know? Until then, Sunday, it's going to be nice. Join us on the local broadcast on KALI, Sunday mornings from 8 to 9, right there on in Hollywood, California, and it's going to be a blessing, and... Oh, my God, all kinds of folks coming in here. What can I do? Superstar status. <laughs> no, hey. it's not that. Please believe me. <laughs> Listen, for our guest, Joe Ellis, and, of course, for Ron Moore, and I'll join you Sunday afternoon. Good Lord, delay is coming. Don't forget, Kenneth Glover is in concert Sunday afternoon, 3 p.m. at True Ever Faithful, and that's going to be nice, 111th and Main Street. Dr. William Green, blessings to you, and love always, no ifs, ands, and buts about it, on the station that cares. 
Uh, man, it's a blessing. Yes, it is. It's been nice. America, whatever you do, always keep looking up. God is always looking down. Because what you are is God's gift to you. What you do with yourself is your gift to God. If you can't say something nice about someone, don't say anything at all. Because chances are you'll find it right between Genesis and Revelation. For our guest, cousin Joe Ellis, hey, for Kevin, my engineer, it's been a great blessing. I got to leave you. Super nice. Cakes and the cookies. Legacy 2, the journey continues. I'll see you Sunday morning on KALI in my 40th year in broadcasting, my 40th year as the voice of Roscoe's Mr. Hudson for Kino, Lisa, David, Jesus, Maria for the entire Tony, Clive Jackson, everybody here at RMC, Crystal Davis Wells, Johnny Morris, the brainchild behind RMC. America, remember this. While you're sitting around enjoying plenty, there's someone somewhere that won't have any. Always say a little prayer. I'll see you in 168 hours right here as we do our Christmas program on next Friday. Blessings to you. Cavaliers takes us home. I'm